Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at different modes in Maya that will lead to modeling. So right now we I have a cube here and if I go to my move tool and you can see that this um, when I select on my cube it's outlined in this thin green line. This outline of thin green. That means I'm in what's called object mode. So object mode is um, just what it sounds like. You can move objects in this mode. By grabbing it and moving it, I could scale the full object. But there are other modes that we can access. And there are three other modes. One of them is um, face mode, there's edge mode, and there's point mode or vertex mode. So let's take a look at those modes. I'm going to get my move tool ready here. I'm going to hold down right click on my mouse on top of the cube and what I like to say is there's this wheel of options. Now you can see we have face, we have edge, and vertex. Those are the main ones to keep in mind. Let's go to face mode. So face mode looks like this. You can actually click on the faces of an object. Now I have these great dots. I like seeing these dots on my face mode because then I can click the dot and I can select the face. If you're not seeing these dots then I uh, would ask you to follow me up to Maya and Preferences. Come down the list here on the left there's something called Selection and I'm going to choose Center and Save. Right now when you open Maya for the first time it starts at whole face. Let's go to center face and save. And that will give you these dots. So, you can see I can select the face and then choose to move with the move tool that one face. I'll undo that. I could also take the scale tool and choose to scale only one or more faces. I could select multiple faces at the same time by holding shift. So try to scale faces. I could also rotate faces. I can change this cube into looking like it's kind of pitched down like this. So these are the modes. Oh, well, let's move into the next mode. I'm going to just undo that there and instead I'm going to try a different mode now. I'm going to hold down right click to the wheel of options and we're going to go to edge mode. Edge mode, if you hover over you can see we can select edges of an object and use the move tool to move edges around or the rotate tool or the scale tool to scale the edges. If I hold down right click again we'll look at the last mode which is a vertex mode. It's just a fancy word for point mode. So you can see I can click on the different vertices of an object and move them around. So I can click on the points and move them around. You can't scale a point and you can't rotate a point because it's just a point. There's no width or depth <clears throat> or height. So if I come back to object mode, holding down right click, go back to object mode, you can see I can move the object again as a whole. So that's how you would get back. And these are the four modes that will um, bridge the gap to modeling. So good luck and give it a try.